in the world of medical science, the ability to replicate human tissues, especially complex structures like brain tissue or bone, has always been a challenging frontier. But now, researchers at the University of Melbourne have developed a cutting-edge 3D bioprinter that's set to transform how we study diseases, test drugs, and approach regenerative medicine. This isn't your typical 3D printer. Traditional bioprinters have relied on slow, layer-by-layer -layer techniques that painstakingly deposit cells, one layer at a time. This method not only takes time, but can also damage fragile cell structures, limiting the complexity of tissues that can be printed. But this new high-speed bioprinter is changing all of that. At the heart of this breakthrough are two major innovations, acoustic wave technology and an optical-based system. By using acoustic waves, researchers can manipulate cells with incredible precision. Tiny bubbles vibrate to create waves that gently but accurately position cells as needed. This ensures that the cells are organized exactly where they need to be, mimicking the complex architecture seen in real human tissues. This innovation addresses one of the biggest challenges in tissue printing, positioning cells correctly. Think of it like building a complex machine. Just as each part must be placed perfectly for the machine to work, cells in our tissues must also be precisely arranged. Without this organization, bioprinted tissues often fail to function as they should, leading to ineffective models for testing or research. But speed is another critical improvement. Unlike conventional bioprinters that require hours to produce even small structures, this new bioprinter completes the process in seconds, 350 times faster than previous methods. It prints directly onto standard lab plates, avoiding the need for fragile and time-consuming transfers that can damage the tissue structure. This new approach keeps the tissues sterile and intact, preserving their structural integrity. The bioprinter's speed doesn't just save time, it increases cell survival rates as well. Faster printing means cells aren't exposed to prolonged handling or stress, which is essential for creating viable, realistic tissue models. This is especially important for delicate structures such as neural tissues or cartilage. So, what does this mean for medicine and research? Well, let's start with disease modeling. By accurately replicating human tissues, scientists can now create disease models that closely mirror how diseases impact specific organs. For example, imagine a researcher studying Alzheimer's disease using a 3D printed brain tissue model. They can observe how the disease affects brain cells offering deeper insights into its progression. Pharmaceutical companies could also benefit enormously. Right now, drug testing often relies on animal models which don't always translate well to human biology. With this bioprinter, researchers can create realistic human tissue models to test drug compounds, giving a much more accurate prediction of how a drug might interact with human cells. And then, there's the field of personalized medicine. Doctors could take a patient's own cells and use the bioprinter to replicate tissues that match their unique genetic makeup. This would allow for highly tailored treatments. Imagine being able to test how a patient's specific tissues respond to a drug before it's ever given to them. This technology could make that a reality. In regenerative medicine, the potential is equally exciting. Imagine bioprinting functional cartilage or even bone grafts for patients with injuries or degenerative diseases. While still an area of ongoing research, the precision and speed of this bioprinter bring us closer to creating complex structures that could one day replace damaged tissues or even organs. The implications extend into cancer research as well. Cancer cells are notoriously difficult to study due to their complex interactions with surrounding tissues. With this bioprinter, researchers can recreate tissue environments that mimic human tissues precisely, enabling them to observe how cancer cells behave in real-life conditions. This capability could help in developing new and more effective cancer treatments as researchers can study how tumors respond to different therapies in a setting that closely resembles the human body. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and stay tuned for more on revolutionary technologies.